So, this is the uh, Champion 4375, uh, model number 100522. Um, curious, when we first started it up today, we just bought this thing. And uh, we plugged in an extension cord to it that has a uh, fault indicator built into it. And of course, it tripped it, as you can see. And uh, so then we put the uh, test meter in the socket. And that tripped as well, saying that it actually had a hot neutral reverse as being an issue. Um, so, in all curiosity, we called uh, we called Champion, waited online for uh, on a phone call on hold for about two hours, um, just to have them inform us that what they do is they build them with the polarity set for a floating neutral. Um, I guess this is supposedly to help assist with uh, um, ground fault circuit interrupter type outlets, um, especially those who are running um, environmentals or into uh, your RV or these type of things, especially if you've got something newer that actually has the uh, um, ground fault uh, built in sockets into it. So besides the weight and so forth, it wasn't a too bad of an experience. Um, to fix the process, is kind of simple. They sent us a video. It's just basically making a jumper that would remove the, the ground fault. You take the neutral out and hook it back over to the ground. Um, we've yet decided that because of our the way we plan to use it if uh, in our RV and a few other uh, applications, whether or not we actually want to make that transition. Um, but it was certainly a curious thing. If you would have just plugged in any other extension cord, it never would have let you know. Um, they did recommend having a um, some kind of a device on it to measure out of the 30 amp and the 20 amp if you were going to be using those and so forth. So we may have to uh, make another investment in something uh, to test those lines while we're using it. Um, I don't think that we're surging a whole lot. It was running 121, 122 off of the... Um, the single outlet so that was uh, probably normal um, nothing too out of the ordinary by any means it didn't jump any of this of the uh, circuits and breakers that are on the inside of the machine uh, it did take off the outside panel um, located underneath the handle here you take off that shroud and that's your control box they'll tell you that that's a seven millimeter um, bolt that you have to take out it's actually an eight so Leave your 7 millimeter in the toolbox and grab the 8 because that's the one that actually fits it. Uh, but while we were uh, waiting on hold, of course, we were looking up a few things. And we'd seen that, yeah, this particular model and most newer generators are built this way. Now with the uh, floating neutral um, application. So, learn something new today. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's a lot quieter than... Uh, I had expected it to be. It may not have sounded that way in the early parts of the video, but considering my other little itty bitty one that I have, uh, 2500 water, that thing sounds like everybody in the neighborhood has their lawnmower going at the same time. So this is pretty quiet considering that it was actually in a garage while we were filming. Uh, so yeah, I think this will suit our purpose. Um, we're certainly looking to, uh, like I said, hook up our RV to it while we're traveling. Um, camping, doing some things, um, as we move into our property area and we decide to, uh, before we get the state electric power come in and, uh, set us up, we'll certainly be using it for a few weeks to, uh, um, continue running our services that we need here and there. We don't really have a whole lot that we would be, uh, running all off at the same time. It would be different if it was coming into winter and, um, we needed to maybe generate a little bit more heat or something, um, but I'm sure by that time we'll have uh, um, the power company out and they'll run us a panel that we're, we're set up to run into a board and everything else. And so, anyway, that's our review. I give it a certainly a, somewhere in the a B plus A minus range right now. We really haven't had a chance to use it a whole lot. We just put some oil and a little bit of gas into it, just enough to burn it out so if we do travel we don't travel with it sloshing around all the time or with a whole lot of gas in it 
uh, the overflows tend to create a vacuum sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad unit. We got it uh, for a price that we thought was pretty fair. We've seen that over the last few days that price has actually gone up. <laughs> so obviously there's a lot of people out there picking up this particular model um, and generators in, in general. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you all uh, enjoy and, and uh, come back and watch uh, Art of Tiny Living. <laughs>